easiest thing to do. It's a natural human inclination when you're comfortable, when you're relaxed, when you have some semblance of good emotions, to just chill there and not risk it. To not step out of that comfort zone. It's evolutionary, right? Once you have kind of a good thing, you have a chance of passing your genes along, you don't want to fuck it up. You don't want to take those risks. You don't want to keep excelling. You don't want to put that pressure on yourself. Ironically, the more that you, the more that you step up, the more that you become a champion, the more you're putting yourself in the spotlight, the more you're gonna put that pressure on yourself. It's so much easier to have an excuse. How much easier would it be, say you're like a football player, to like drop that pass in middle school football and say the sun was in your eyes, versus catching it, becoming a hero, going to high school, putting years in the weight room, trying to become a star there, trying to put, get to college, become more years in the weight room, years of like draining, super hard fucking work on your body and your mind, and then years to try and make it professionally. So much work, so much pressure, so many people watching you, so, so, so hard to do. How much easier is it to have that excuse when you're a young kid and just, oh, I'm sorry, the sun was in my, I'm sorry I tripped, oh, I just wasn't that good of an athlete. It's easy, it's comfortable, nobody will ever know. Nobody ever knows all the opportunities you could have had in your life that you didn't take, right? Nobody ever sees that. They just see, you know, you're safe, comfortable, easy life. Most extreme example of this would be suicide, dark topic. But think about it, like when you see people like they write their suicide notes, like I couldn't take it anymore. It was so much pain, I just couldn't handle the struggle, right? They just wanted a way out. They wanted a way to hide from life, to just be comfortable and avoid any negative emotions. And suicide is the like, most extreme example of that, but people actually, in a certain sense, commit little suicides every day. Every time you see that hot girl and you go go talk to her, every time you could push for like a promotion at work or push to go out and like do your dream job and you stick with a safe, comfortable, sickly, easy job, you're not pushing yourself, you're not going outside of that comfort zone and you're dying a little bit inside. So basically you're just taking that small death over and over and fucking over again. And that's not the life you want to have. When I die, I want my grave to say, he lived his life, not he died little by little every single fucking day. So strive for that. Will it be easy? No. Will it be worth it? Probably, I'll tell you when I'm 80. Live for greatness, not for like avoiding negative emotions. Nobody remembers someone who lived his life safe and comfortable and just avoided bad feelings. That's weak, that's chode, fuck that.